Hello, I'm Jeff Shiver, Managing Principal of People and Processes. I wanted to share some thoughts with you today regarding mean time before failure and useful life. So, Jeff, what is mean time before failure? Well, it's the average of a series of failures. So if you look at that on the chart, what we might have is we might have a line that looks like this where the failures are just random in nature. So, you know, here was a failure here, and here was a failure here, and there was a failure. But what we do is when we get to the mean time, if you see basically a normal distribution that looks something like that. And what we have is this is where we see a greater incidence of failure rate, some level of predictability. And this point right here, the average of this bell curve or this normal distribution is actually our MTBF, okay? our mean time before failure. It didn't say that this is where all the failures occurred. It just said this is where the average of the failures is. We could have random failures all across the the distribution, but this is where the greatest bulk of the failures are. And this is why it's so important that we capture failure rates in our CMMS based on our operating context is because what we're trying to find is is there a repeatable pattern that we can do time-based maintenance. So if we know our mean time before failure is here, where is our useful life? It's actually right around here somewhere. This becomes the useful life. And here what we're trying to do is this is when we would come in and actually plan and schedule for the repair and execute it before we actually reached the greatest peak level of failures. That's what time-based maintenance or preventive maintenance is all about, and that's the basis for it. Hope you enjoyed the tip. I'm Jeff Shiver, People and Processes. Have a great day.